Hi guys, uh, welcome back and please go ahead and subscribe, like and comment on my video. Today we're going to cover um, Superman and Lewis episode 2 and so far I think, you know, what I think about this is really good. I mean, it's just getting better. The actor, you know, they, they really do have a chemistry with each other, the fa you know, it feels like it's a family um you know so pretty much you know again this mo this episode in itself plays like a movie it has everything balanced out like the action drama uh you know it's it's really well done the way they made this show it's very unique um compared to all the other CW shows that are out there um it's 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 really really well made and it, like i mean it look feels like a movie the graphics the cgi i mean it's really good the acting it's really good uh and the superman in this universe when i say when i said it at last time that it feels like it's his own universe i feel like it's not connected to arrowverse if that makes sense Maybe in the future they will connect it, but it seems like it's it's its own universe. It's its own show. It's not connected to anything. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, so here you know basically uh, it starts out with ba uh, you know you know Clark Kent is basically takes his son to uh, Fortress of Solitude, and you know they show Jor El, and you know and he's very excited. And he's just telling him about his heritage and where he came from, and you know he's just showing him around. And obviously, uh, Lois Lane is investigating Morgan Edge, and pretty much he controls everything in terms of, like, you know, the building, the Daily Planet itself. Yeah, so it's a very cool episode. I mean, it's. They did it so well. I mean, the and now I I'm, I I started to like him as Superman. You know, like I said, he fits the universe. Um. Initially, I wasn't really keen on him. Uh, watching this show, I didn't think it would be this good. Um. Yeah. So pretty much, you know, he. Uh, there's a scene where you know. General Lane uh, is talking to uh, to Clark. You know, why did you reveal your secret to them? You know, it's gonna make it much harder. I don't think so. I think this will make his life much more easier. He doesn't have to hide around. He doesn't have to lie constantly. Um. So, and I like how it is not like the freak of the week. You know, where he's fighting. You know. A villain of the week. It seems like it's 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 continuing with the uh, with the Captain Luther arc, and uh, basically what is happening with him and what does he want from him. So, and so pretty much, you know, he. I mean, so I'm not really keen on the the teenager stuff like his son, even though I feel like. They've done a good job uh, exploring that, but uh, but overall, I think it's it 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 helps the story. And the guy who played General Lane, he he did a really good. He has a good acting, like his emotions and everything. You can see it. Um, But, so yeah, so, um, it, there's a scene where Lewis is basically challenging Morgan Edge, and, uh, again, they show the Mr. Chief, or Captain Luther, and, you know, somehow General Lane finds a way to track him, and then they obviously have a fight, and he's, he's telling him, he says, you destroyed my world, and pretty much they have a good, really good battle. Like I said, it feels like they've done a really good job with the CGI. And it, 
it doesn't look you know there's a zoom in scenes you know how in the Zack Snyder movie Man of Steel where they're fighting and suddenly zooms in it feels that way the way they the way they shot it it's it doesn't look like an average TV show but it also doesn't look completely like like a Zack Snyder Man of Steel movie obviously it had a bigger budget but for what they have done so far it's it's really good it's it's, it's up to the par with HBO Max um you know it doesn't come off very campy or cheesy like some of the shows in Arrowverse did like the Flash or the Supergirl especially and the characters you know it it seems like a very natural uh flow and then there's a scene where uh Captain Luther basically tells him you know either you're going to kill me or you're going to save the people and you know he i think he's a lot of ways i feel like it has undone the sins of man of steel you know where there's a lot of destruction you know uh and but here they really show this superman really cares about people and he just flies and he he saves the the planet or the city the metropolis and he and then he basically takes the ship you know outside of the earth and it, it explodes and obviously he you know he hits the ground uh so the fights are really good i mean it's i think it's doing everything that people want superman to do regardless of what Zack Snyder did um but that's that's another thing i mean you know some people say oh yeah that's pretty realistic they were causing a lot of destruction of course a lot of people would die but if you look at it, like superman general he's known to save people he's known to save city the world so i think for a lot of people it was kind of something different i would say but this this they've done a really good job with the character so far um and then they show basically his son john you know playing football and you know he's getting bullied or whatever the case might be like i said i don't really care much about those arc that much but you know like i said what they have done with this show it's it's i'm really like i really look forward to watching um episodes you know and um and there's a scene where you know he is uh you know whatever Clark Kent he's talking to Jor-El and he's telling him about he's talking to him about his son he's saying his power is not you know it's probably one off you know it doesn't seems like he has the same capability that you do or you know it seems like he doesn't have his you know power there it just miss fire it's not something that he can control um you know he's like he's not you you know he's not special and obviously Jonathan or Jordan hears him say that and he gets upset i mean i really don't care about this scene that much but but again overall they done a, they've done a pretty good job you know they have an argument or what not and then they have a get together you know pretty much in the you know smallville you know they're just having a cookout they're just talking but yeah i feel like they've done a really good job in terms of balancing the story uh between the family his his kids Lois Lane General Lane and uh you know Lois arc with uh Morgan Edge and then obviously there's an there's a last action scene where um you know he he shows up again the captain luther of course but in the you know he gives him the symbol of superman and and back of it it says hell and he tells him to like fear him it 
in a lot of ways it reminded me of like if you look at the Justice League animated show or Superman or even the Zack Snyder movie there's always a fear of Superman turning evil right that's always been the overall arc if you look at the Justice League animated show like you know he, there's a possibility that he can cross the line um and obviously Justice League has very variation like Justice Lord or Ultraman you know i mean Superman himself has many variation so if, as soon as he hands him the flag of course you know Superman comes in starts hitting him and then later they reveal it was just a suit and it was like a, he was controlling the suit and you know later on General Lane tells him I do have a kryptonite that uh, you know that I have been keeping him and then obviously they're having an argument about it so overall um for me this this episode is definitely better than the first episode uh if not both of them are done a pretty good job and obviously um there's a scene where his two sons they just kind of make up like all right you know i'm going to help you am i jealous i'm sorry i, f- I fought with you blah, blah blah but again the this dynamic has never been done before to this extent um in a man of steel in a in a superman uh journey i would say or all in terms of like shows animation movies the way they've done it so far and the focus you know between metropolis smallville his family life and then obviously they show uh the special ending where captain luther is, is is one of the soldiers fighting you know besides the besides the general lane and they're they're fighting a superman that is um it's a it's a black superman pretty much that uh, it's a superman that is wearing a black costume and it, they don't show much about him like who he is and what he has done but it's just kind of a hint uh towards a uh, black superman you know that he has somehow turned evil um and sort of like uh the new movies ex letter movies coming out but obviously the black suit doesn't really negate that he's evil the suit in itself is just for healing but i guess sort of like uh the way they did in crisis of on infinite earth where the the black superman is is evil um um but yeah it's, it's it's like i said it's really done well you know the story is really good it's very unique it's very new the show itself is very good and uh yeah let me know what you guys think and uh what you guys thought about this episode all right take care and have a good day